All right. That's All right. Not that bad. <laughs> oh, that was a Spartan race, man. Oh, the Spartan race? I think I just ran one. Uh, I was at Travacana. A little late. Tried to, to the bulls, <laughs> yeah, I tried to bull through some people, but I had one guy stop right in front of me. I was like, left, right, left, right. So I just grabbed him and like, scoot him out of the way so I could get here. Did but like it? Yeah, the Spartan race was awesome. You know, uh, it showed me that, you know, running is a really important part of that. Uh, and that's what I, you know, uh, road work, that's all we do. Uh, you know, in off season, not so much. But, you know, that's something that mixes up training. Uh, it, uh, you know, you're running, you're doing obstacles and stuff, and I think that it can really benefit me, uh, just so that way it keeps me a little bit more active and not so uh, consistent on fighting, yeah. but also other things in life. So you're gonna ch are you gonna change up your your actual fight training based around some of that? Because when I've talked to Jamie about it in the past, he said, you know, going forward, I'm gonna train more like I trained for for these races. Uh, no, 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 no. I, you know, fighting's the only way to get in shape. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely, if, if I was running triathlons, then yes, I would do that. But, uh, you know, I, some of the CrossFit can fit into uh, MMA uh, just right now. Uh, I don't want to mix anything up because nothing's failed so far. Sure. You know, I want to keep everything sort of the same. But I will continue to try for, you know, tr you know train for some of those because, like I said, it's a lot of fun. You're dirty as all get out, and uh, everybody's really, really nice. That's cool. So Dana was saying that he was waiting to hear back from George. He was waiting on a phone call. What's the latest? What have you heard about fighting George St. Pierre? Uh, exactly what you guys heard. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm in the, I, what I tell everybody is the world will find out before me. The only thing that I've heard is that he's waiting for George, right? I, uh, pretty much wherever he wants, whenever he wants, uh, that's what I'm going to do. You know, uh, I, I want to fight if, I just want it by December, you know. Before January 1st, I want to fight him, uh, hopefully bring the home belt home. And you're still set on waiting for that fight and not taking a, a fight in between? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, you know, that last fight showed me that I have a lot of uh, room to improve, you know. Uh, uh, and that's exciting for me, you know. Uh, and I, I, I proved that I might be a better wrestler than George in that fight, too. Uh, and, you know, the funny thing is that I train about 80%. Uh, and that's the way I fight. Uh, this next one is going to be different. You know, this next one I'm already, guys don't like it so much that I'm working out with because I'm using all the power I have. I'm training as hard as I can. So only exciting things can come. I've heard that at 80% your sparring partners had trouble with you. Exactly, yeah. 80%, uh, it's like a fight, you know, 80%. That's what I've learned is whenever, when I want my partners to be able to come back. You know, so if I hit somebody, I make them wear headgear. I wear 18 ounce winnings, you know, uh, and I don't, I go try to match their speed, not mine. Uh, and, you know, I like to keep everybody sort of safe. That's my main goal is that we both wake up and can do it again. You ever wonder about a case like with uh, Junior Dos Santos where he said that he had overtrained and by the time he got to the fight he had already peaked before a certain time? How do you monitor that as a fighter? Uh, pretty easy, you know. Uh, if you start feeling like your body's wearing down, you know, that's where wrestling really helped me out a lot in my life where as soon as I start feeling like I'm overtrained, I go easy the next day. You know, uh, I'm like, hey, today's going to be like, let's tone it back, tone it back. You know, if it's a Friday, I'm like, hey, we're just going to play sport, that's it. Nothing more. I'm going to take it easy. You know, um, I'll, I'll try to lose my shape somehow. Uh, and being a wrestler, I know how to do that. Uh, and so that's really what I do is I play to that. And, you know, I do three-month camps. Uh, I start at around 60 and work my way up to 100, so I don't do that. You had actually talked about George St. Pierre and his finishing power, his inability to finish. What do you think is going to happen when you two get together? And do you think he'll just try to do what he does with his wrestling? And how will you try to stop that? Uh, wrestling, that's, you know, that's my that's my bread and butter. You know, if this was a kickboxing match, you might tend to lean towards him. But, hey, everybody said that I couldn't strike. Everybody said they're a better striker than me. But here I am, you know, uh, I got the power. You know, um, and for to nullify the wrestling, that's easy. You know, I got a lot up here to, to nullify his wrestling. Uh, I think what he's going to do, he's going to come out. Sort of the same game plan they did against Josh Koscheck. Jab, 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 um, and then get you to overcommit. He's going to try to sweep underneath you, drive you to the cage, take you down. I had heard that uh, today I actually saw something that he had told his management that he's interested in fighting in the uh, Toronto card September 21st. What do you think about having to go into his backyard if that should be the case? Hey, Canada's my backyard. 
You know what I mean? That's the way I, I'm looking at this. Every fight that I go into, I don't look at fighting in his hometown. I, I like to think that it's mine. You know, I know that it's going to be a big crowd for him. But, you know, last time I fought there, I got a great crowd in Canada, too. You know, so uh, it's going to be exciting. You know, I'll feed off the crowd, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes for George. You know, uh, his hometown's been lucky for him so far, but there's always, an, you know, there's always, it's always going to stop. You know, I can't wait to be the person. You were supposed to fight Jake Ellenberger at one point, and if I remember correctly, he was pretty vocal about saying you were happy to not end up fighting him. Um, you know, what do you make of Jake and Rory and the rest of the guys in the mix right now in terms of how they line up with you? <laughs> I think they line up pretty good, you know. I'm not going to, you know, uh, badmouth anybody. I don't care what they say. Uh, you know, I'm at the top, of course. If they don't want me, then why are they in the sport? Uh, the thing is that I paid the way. I beat all the tough guys. You know what I mean? Who else? Who, who else is left at the 170 top five that I didn't knock out? You know. Then as soon as I knocked them out, new guys were able to come in. So that that that's the way that that works. Um, and I plan on fighting them. You know. Uh, you know. I, of course, I got to beat GSP. Defend it against GSP. Then one of those two will get a chance at me. But speaking of your wrestling, I was at a United for wrestling event the other day. I met Jordan Burroughs. He got his 54th straight win. I know wrestling yeah. is a big deal for you and also what's going on in Oklahoma. I'm just curious, you know, where your thoughts are on all that right now. Uh, my thoughts with, uh, you know, I can I can focus a lot with the, the Olympics stuff. You know, that's crap. Uh, you know, uh, you can't take away one of the five. You know, then what are we going to do, have four rings? You know, so those people are, I would like to see them smack them around a little bit and say wrestling should stay. Uh, because there's so many guys that are like me that, you know, Wrestling's not a money sport. You know, you don't grow up and make millions. But uh, it, it gives you a sense of pride, a sense of uh, worth ethics that you don't get in a lot of other sports. Uh, and, you know, with the Oklahoma or ordeal, the last tornadoes, I'm going to try to get up there Tuesday and try to do some stuff for them. Uh, you know, I love Oklahoma, and it's sad. And I was devastated when I saw all that stuff. But, you know, we'll see how we can do to help it out. Where did the uh because of your wrestling is so strong, but where did this come from? From who that said you have no power? Because you have tremendous power. Oh, that was, I think that was from the beginning. I, I think what they said is I don't have striking. I'm not a very good striker, you know. Uh, I, I, I Probably not, but for one, I don't mind getting hit. And two, can you hit me as hard as I hit you? That's the question I can't wait to Tell George. What are you doing to uh, to improve on on that though? Too? Um, I'm, 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 I got a I got a strictly boxing coach. You know, uh, I'm I'm learning how to box. Uh, you know, uh, that's really what I'm focusing on. You know, I'm studying a lot more films uh, on that. Uh, if I can get my striking, uh, if I can get my right hand, they say is as good as my left, and they say it's better than my left. I just never use it. If I can believe that before George, uh, then we might be seeing. A different finish. I had seen something by George St. Pierre stating that he had already figured out your game plan yeah. because you're pretty... Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my game plan. Uh, I'm going to hit you with my left. If that doesn't work, I'm going to try to take you down. If that doesn't work, I'm going to find a way to win, George. So, e easy as that. You know, uh, uh, I wrestled. I wrestled. All I had was a single leg. But I had different ways to set it up. One thing that he cannot prepare for is my heart, my speed, and my determination to win. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he says to everybody, you have not faced anybody like me. Well, guess what? He's never faced a 208 pound, 170 welterweight that has power and a true wrestler. I see you're wearing the Reebok shirt. How's that going with that company? And uh, and how does it feel to be, you know, an MMA fighter sponsored by one of the one of the greats of, in, in, you know, sports gear? Uh, I, I'm super excited to be sponsored by Reebok. Uh, it's a new deal. Um, and you know, I, I've met the guys. They're amazing. Uh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm so happy to be the first one to represent Reebok and also uh, be the first one to sort of pave the way. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm super, super uh, excited. And only, only good things can come from there. Well, I don't know if you saw Junior uh, Dos Santos has his own Nikes, his own signature Nikes with Sagano on him. Can we see a, a Hendrix line coming out? You think? Uh, you know, we'll see. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna promise anything too soon. But uh, you know, right now, uh, I'm just glad that we finally got the relationship. You know what I mean? We got everything settled, um, and just move forward. You know, t baby steps. I want to get to know them better and let them get to know me better, and uh, just know that I, I, I want to represent them the way that they. They represent me, and that it's been a great fit so far. 
Has, has some of that stuff with the Reebok deal, with the Spartan Race stuff going along with it, has that been a good distraction for you to, because as you said earlier, you're just waiting for George, waiting for George. It feels like all you do is wait for George. Has that been a good distraction to, to keep your mind off that situation? It's been a wonderful distraction because, you know, uh, every day I wake up and all I see is, uh, <laughs> it's funny, we got a cut out of George with the belt mm -hmm. and he moves all around my gym. And I'll be sitting there. One time I was going to the bathroom. He was in the stall, like, overlooking. I was like, what? Who thinks of this stuff? You know, and, and every day that's all I dream about is that belt. And uh, having this Reebok distraction, you know, coming and doing this has been a great uh, mind escape for me. What are you going to do with the cutout if you win the belt? <laughs> Probably keep it there for more motivation because I'm going to have to beat him twice. Oh, I, oh, yeah. I, you know, here's the thing. You don't, you don't be, you're not George. And you don't beat him once, unless I knock him out. You know, if I'm manhandling for two rounds, I knock him out. Then there won't be a rematch. But if it's a close fight, or if I go out there and knock him out the first minute, yeah, there'll be a rematch. I was just thinking, if there's any way you can copy it and put it on a heavy bag, then maybe you could start working your right on it. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we've <laughs> we've already thought about those situations. So, uh, you know, right now, uh, just more or less, uh, I'm just excited. You know. I, the good Lord's blessed me amazingly. Uh, I've been surrounded by amazing people so far, and I've had so much help. And knowing that uh, they're going to get me to where I need to be, that's just, I'm just so excited to finally get into the octagon and look across, and there's George. That's all I can think about. That's all I dream about every day. So uh, when the time comes, I might, if I, when I get that battle agreement, I might like have a heart attack. You know what I mean? Or, or like go insane, like oh, finally here. Amazing. So I, I don't know. I, words can't explain how excited I am. Especially with that anticipation being that this had been promised to you a few times actually before now. How is it like to finally really actually have it be true <laughs> this time around? It's not true until I get that battery. Uh, that's true. Or that's that true. Sign it. Fighting. <laughs> yes. As soon as I see him sign it, I'm going to sign that. You know, uh, and that's really what it all boils down to. As soon as he says yes, I'm yes. You know, and that's why I tell everybody they're going to find out before I will.